Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So today's hidden figure is someone that a few of you might have heard of, might not have heard of. Really, everyone has heard of one of her most iconic creations, which is the very, very famous Playboy Bunny outfit, which we've all seen. The, the bodysuit, like the satin bodysuit with the heart, what is it, the sweetheart neckline, like the scoop top and the bunny ears. That was designed by a black woman, Zelda Wynn Valdez. Zelda Wynn Valdez was born June 28th, 1905, and she died September 26th, 2001. She was an African-American fashion designer and costumer. Uh, Valdez grew up in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and she began her professional career working in her uncle's White Plains, New York tailoring shop. Around the same time, Valdez began working as a stock girl at a high-end boutique. She eventually worked her way up to selling and making alterations, becoming the shop's first black sales clerk and tailor. In 1948, Valdez opened her own boutique in Manhattan on Broadway and West 158th Street. And in the 1950s, she moved Chez, is it Chez, Shay? Let me know, Zelda to 57th Street in Midtown. And she was also the first African-American woman to have her own shop in New York City. Uh, Valdez's celebrity clients included Josephine Baker, Mae West, Ella Fitzgerald, Dorothy Dandridge, Eartha Kitt, and Marian Anderson. According to Valdez, she said, I only fit Ella Fitzgerald once in 12 years. I had to do everything by imagination for her. She liked fancy clothes with beads and appliques. I'd just look at the papers and say, gee, she's gotten larger. <laughs> you know, imagine like having to make clothes just like by, by like sight. Like you don't have, you can't measure, you can't, you don't have any measurements. This woman's always traveling, but she like, want you to like make her these clothes and like ship them to her so you just like have to like gauge it by eye that's an incredible talent valdez also created a new sexier image for singer joyce bryant who life magazine dubbed the black marilyn monroe now i've never heard of joyce bryant so we're gonna have to do a hidden figure series on her hmm Valdez also dressed the entire bridal party for the 1948 wedding of Marie Ellington and Nat King Cole. Valdez is known as the is also known as the designer of the original Playboy Bunny costume. Uh, she was one of the founders of the National Association of Fashion Accessory Designers, an industry group intended to promote black design professionals. And in 1970, Arthur Mitchell asked. Valdez to design costumes for his new company, the Dance Theater of Harlem. By 1992, Valdez would design costumes for 82 productions. She closed her business, her personal business in 1989, but continued to work with the Dance Theater of Harlem until her death in 2001 at the age of 96. 96! Wow! Zelda Barber Wynn Valdez. Later in her career, she also designed for R&B legend Gladys Knight and opera vocalist Jesse Norman. A year after opening her store, Valdez was named president of the New York chapter of the National Association of Fashion and Accessory Designers. As a result of her role with the NAFAD, Valdez worked in exclusive circles and word of her designs caught the attention of Playboy's Hugh Hefner. Hefner commissioned Valdez to design the infamous Playboy Bunny costume after the magazine's promotions director, Victor Loans, came up with the idea, and the costume made its formal debut in February 1960. In 1970, Valdez started working with founder Arthur Mitchell in the Dance Theater of Harlem. Amazing. Anything else? In a 1994 interview with the New York Times, Zelda said, I just had a God-given talent for making people beautiful. And her designs really are gorgeous. Gorgeous. So what do Eartha Kitt, Dorothy Dandridge, Ella Fitzgerald, and the Playboy Bunny have in common? The answer, Zelda Wynn Valdez, the most influential fashion and costume designer that you've probably never heard of. Valdez's determination and talent in design was evident even in her youth, as after learning how to sew by making outfits for her dolls and observing her grandmother's favorite seamstress at work, she offered to make her grandmother a bespoke dress. She said, daughter, you can't sew for me. I'm too tall and too big. However, Valdez promptly proved her wrong. She was so happy with that dress, Valdez continued, she was buried in it. 
After working for her uncle as a tailor, Valdez managed to obtain a position in an upmarket clothier, initially working as a stock girl before moving up the ranks and selling and altering clothes. Despite facing continuous racism from customers who would frequently underestimate her skill, Valdez's talent was recognized and in 1948 she became the first black designer to open her own shop, Shea Zelda, on Broadway, where she had a loyal clientele that included famous entertainers and leading figures of the black community. Valdez's success only grew and in 1949, she became president of the New York branch of the National Association of Fashion and Accessory Designers. Valdez's ingenuity emerged in the fluid intermixture of styles in her designs. Unlike other boutiques of the time that focused primarily on costumes or fashion, Valdez seamlessly combined the two to create effortlessly glamorous pieces. Amazing. Valdez's hip-hugging creation subsequently struck a chord with Playboy Hugh Hefner, who commissioned her to design the very first outfits for the Playboy bunnies. Thus, the Playboy bunny as we now know it was born. The skin-tight leotard with its waist, bow tie, and bunny ears has become immortalized as an enduring symbol of seduction and allure. Zelda Wynn Valdez, a hidden figure. I just had a God-given talent for making people beautiful. What a quote. Um, there's gonna be lots of links in the description box. I want you guys to check them out because there are some really, really, really cool pictures here of like Dorothy Dandridge wearing her clothes, of some black Playboy bunnies, of Joyce Bryant wearing her clothes. There's a really nice picture of her uh, fitting Eartha Kitt. Fitting Dorothy Dandridge, Mae West. Yeah, definitely please make sure you check out the links in the description box so you can see some of these really, really, really incredible, incredible, incredible pictures because these are gorgeous gowns, great gowns, beautiful gowns. So, uh, Zelda Wynn Valdez, a hidden figure. Food for thought as always, moving and shaking through February, Black Her Story Month. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.